Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lonifi here. Today's video, I'm going to take you to a magnificent 12th century fortress with a long and colorful past called Framlingham Castle. Framlingham Castle is surrounded by parkland and beautiful lake. Framlingham Castle was once at the center of a vast network of power and influence. Master your courage, walk the spectacular wall, walk and explore the towering wall behind which Mary Tudor was proclaimed Queen of England. From the remarkable 10.5 meters high curtain wall, take in breathtaking views of Suffolk landscape and imagine life over 500 years ago. So and guys, we're at Framlingham Castle. So I will uh, show you around. We can't go in, but uh, we'll go around the castle, guys. So we're going to talk about Framlingham. Framlingham is a traditional market town with a long history stretching back to Anglo-Saxon times when a castle was first built here. It now boasts a magnificent curtain-walled castle dating from around 1190. It was once home to some of the most formidable names of Tudor England and it was behind these very walls that Mary Tudor was proclaimed Queen of England. The castle then transformed into an Elizabethan prison and later a workhouse in the 17th century. Guys, behind me is the castle. So this is only the side of the castle. So I'm going to uh, go at the back of it in a minute. So that's it, guys. Look at that. the back of the castle and Amber is there it's beautiful and if I have to turn the camera going round it's the mirror and that's the Framingham Mirror Nature Reserve with its surrounding wet meadows and ancient castle backdrop, the Mirror of Framlingham is considered by many to the best view in inland Suffolk. That building in the background is Framlingham College. It is an independent co-educational boarding and day school in the town of Framlingham near Woodbridge, Suffolk, 
England. Started. Wave to the camera! Come on! <laughs> Here in 1553, Mary Tudor descended on Framlingham with an enormous retinue of 13,000 and she was proclaimed queen and returned to London in triumph. The town is surrounded by gently undulating countryside with 99 footpaths within the parish boundary. The town center is a conservation area with 74 listed buildings. In 1859, the railway came to Framlingham and ensured the town continued to thrive as a commercial and cultural center. Now railway has gone but the town is still an important center of a largely rural area of Suffolk. In around 1285, a market was granted to the town which still continues to this day on Saturdays and Tuesdays on Market Hill. This with a wide range of independent shops and a relaxed, friendly atmosphere 
plus a host of varied places to eat and drink, makes it a great place to spend some time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. God bless everyone.